here I'm getting ready to install my floppy switcher in my 1000 and this is an NTSC version and it wasn't real straightforward online as to which socket that you put it in the instructions that I was able to find must be for a PAL version because it was saying that U6S was the CIA chip that it should go in and it took me I looked through some schematics and things I and I finally got it figured out that on the NTSC version you want to put it in U6N and I uh, got my CIA pulled out I got ready to put this in and the board is just a hair wide because what it does is it hits the uh, the pins for the the daughter card so I can't get it lined up with the uh, pins of the socket so looking at this there's nothing important there except for ground plane so I think I'm going to call on the inner hillbilly in me and I'm going to grind it down to where it'll fit and see if I can't get this thing to work. A minute or two on the belt sander and it almost looks like it was made that way. <laughs> I opted to take the uh, daughter card off just to give me a little room so I don't bend the pins trying to get it in there because it's still going to be a tight fit but I think I'll be able to get it now that I've narrowed it up a little bit well as you can see I got it in there but you'd be lucky to get a playing card between the board and the pins for the daughter card so I'm glad that this actually did physically fit into place so I'm going to get it all thrown back together now and see if I can get it to work. Okay, I've got everything hooked up here. Currently, I've got the switch set to make the external drive DF0 and the internal drive DF1. And I've got the analyzer thing here. If I select default call it a default DF1 and then run test okay and it seems to do what it's supposed to do it seems to boot from the external fine so I think everything's good to go since unfortunately the uh, with the kickstart switcher in there the original drive won't fit but I actually was testing it and the drives defective anyway so I guess it really doesn't matter at this point so what I'll end up doing is I'm just you can set the jumpers on here to just set it to where the externals always set it DF0 and the internals always set it DF1 because it I unhook the internal one and it doesn't seem to be any problem with booting so I'm happy about that I'm kind of bummed that I can't have the original drive installed internally just so I can kind of have everything buttoned up but it doesn't work anyway and I'm not gonna put a whole lot of time and money into getting an old-school floppy going just because I don't really own any floppies so I'm just gonna leave it as it is okay I've got the 1000 semi reassembled and I just pop the jumper on there to keep it in uh, default zero mode all the time and I've got it testing and so far everything seems to be working good I think that was successful so far all I need for it still is a power LED and I'd like to get some sort of internal hard drive option, maybe a CF card type thing. I went ahead and 
just use the empty floppy hole for the light for the kickstart switcher. Fits in there just right, and since there's nothing there anyway, I figure I might as well utilize it for something. That's it on this one.